I think the thing that Trump was most perturbed about, me asking him to be my vice president, I think that was like lower on the list of things that caught him off guard. The greatest American alive. We will not celebrate Kanye West making history for black America. If at any other time in the history of America, if a black man went to go meet with the 45th president of the United States of America, we would be saluting that man. Black people would just be clapping their ass off. But since this black man doesn't share your political ideology, since you think he doesn't share your political ideology, you'll try to demonize this man and call him a white supremacist. How the hell do you take a little black kid that came from inner city Chicago from a single mother home? He didn't even get to know his daddy until later in life. Somehow this guy's a white supremacist. Kanye West came from the bottom of America to the top of America and he got to the top of America and he says, I still want to fight for you. I'm going to partner with Gap so I can make affordable clothes. If you are a Christian in America, you should be celebrating Kanye West. First, he gave you Jesus walks. I've been to a a lot of churches in my life and Kanye West made it cool to worship Jesus. <laughs> if that's not impressive, I don't know what is. Then he came back and gave you Donda. Then he came back and gave you Donda too. And you put your hands up as this man impacts culture in an impressive ass way. If the devil came to America right now and gave a speech and said, I love black people, black people would start clapping. <laughs> they would clap so damn hard and say, hey devil, we love you too. You will cheer for the devil, but you won't cheer for Kanye. Kanye West. Get mad if you want to. I don't give a damn. We have to have honest conversations about being black in America. We pick and choose when we want somebody to be black. You picking and choosing, you probably cause the whole transgender movement because you look at a black man and say you ain't black because I don't agree with your ideology. We have entire men in America talking about I feel like a woman and we'll say hell yeah you could be a woman because it's all about what you think. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with what you actually are. I look in the mirror and I see a black man. You look at me and you see a black man but because you disagree with my ideology you'll say I'm not black. See, y'all destroying America with these badass thoughts, huh? Black people are destroying America with bad thoughts. Fight back with some good ideas. Tell the truth and get some power. Kanye West is a superhero fighting at the highest level for black folk, and y'all won't even cheer for this man because you're too stuck on the democratic ideology that says they love black folk. You have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. And they ain't never did nothing for black folk. <laughs> The Democratic Party doesn't represent any man in America, not no masculine man, because they want to handicap you. They'll give shit to everybody except for you. Hey, immigrant, you want some money? But well, you, nigga, go work. <laughs> you know what's true. You can't run from it. And when you have a man that's running for political office who shares your ideology, Kanye West is paying $200,000 in child support. Every man in America who's separated from his children should be voting for Kanye West. Every man in America, period, should be voting for Kanye West because he's a guy just like you. He likes big booties just like you. You can listen to his music and know that he shares your ideology you ain't gotta run from the truth the truth is beautiful the truth will set you free Kanye West is a motherfucking superhero in America we have to embrace this guy and fight for this guy you know what he's supposed to do he's supposed to do exactly what you tell him to do just like every other politician in America politicians are only supposed to do what you tell them to do. If you say, hey, I want houses for everyone in America, they're supposed to provide houses for everyone in America. If you say that every American citizen should have a Ford car or they should have a Chevy or a General Motors car because the American people did bail them out when they had this big ass crisis, then every American person should be driving a dope ass car. You can have whatever you want, man. If you have some creative ideas, if you have some political power, if you have some influence, and Kanye West has more influence than any other person in America right now it's a fact and instead of using this guy as a super weapon would rather demonize him because he made a t-shirt because he made a t-shirt that you didn't like white lives do matter don't they <laughs> that's so offensive huh all lives matter don't they <laughs> Your life matters, doesn't it? And for me to say that your life matters, is that a problem? For me to say that every American person matters, is that really a problem? Is that something that you want to fight for and die for? Don't be stupid, okay? Be smart. Have a better idea. I want to fight for everyone in America. I want everyone to have a motherfucking wonderful time and wear dope-ass clothes and drive dope-ass cars and live in dope-ass houses. And we put a president in that bitch with some creativity. Say, yay, 2024. Yay, 2024. Let's go. Kanye West goes and has dinner with Donald Trump, and we think that's a bad thing. Actual power, including with power, somehow that's bad. They're your elected officials. <laughs> Their only job in life is to do what you ask them to do. They represent you. <laughs> it's your job to hold them accountable. <laughs>
I'm sorry if I'm laughing so hard, but you have to do the work. And for some reason, you don't want to do the work. And so since you don't want to do the work, you'll say these people are bad. They're just doing what you allow them to do. Hold them accountable. Chastise your politicians. Kick them out of office and get your ass, get your ass out of office right now. Ah! Yes, that's how powerful you are in America. You're the most powerful citizen that ever existed in the history of the world. And you don't even want to squabble. You don't even want to use your power. Be powerful, man. Please be powerful. God damn, what's the problem? Oh, shit. I need some powerful folks in America. I need men to be powerful. I need women to also be powerful. But you can't kick no niggas' ass. Tell the truth and get some woo. Shit. <laughs> This is a critical analysis of Kanye West running for president. I think that this guy coming from urban city Chicago and rising all the way up through the ranks and paying his dues as an American citizen, I think that he should have an opportunity to be president. Have some damn creativity, yo. Yeah? Stop looking at your motherfucking skin color and saying, oh, because I'm black, I got to think like this. That's stupid. <laughs> I love black people. You're so amazing. Do better. Support Kanye West, yay 2024. Say yay 2024. Let's get excited, y'all. We say yay, 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 yay. <laughs> hey, make a song like that, nigga. Kanye West, make a song talking about yay, 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 yay. As we celebrate you becoming the 47th president of the United States of America. And you call that guy crazy. And your own ideology. You think that a black man being powerful is crazy. Who's crazy? <laughs> Who's crazy? What a time to be alive. What a time to be the greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.